Ever wondered how the scorching Florida heat impacts its hardworking populace? Heat-related illnesses are a significant occupational health hazard, leading to a range of problems from exhaustion to even death. This issue is not just about health, it's about livelihoods and the economy. So, what can we do about this burning issue? Well, existing prevention measures include hydration breaks, cooling stations and personal protective equipment. Florida Senate Bill 945 is stepping up the game. It mandates employers to provide cooling stations and hydration breaks for those working in extreme heat. Plus, it requires training on preventing heat-related illnesses. These measures are significant steps towards safeguarding workers. These measures are critical, but we need more to ensure our workers are safe. Heat-related illnesses are not just statistics, they are personal stories. Imagine a construction worker, mid-July, dizzy and nauseous under the scorching Florida sun, suddenly collapsing, narrowly escaping a fatal heat stroke. This is a stark reminder of why we need to act now. Let's put the issue into perspective with some numbers. Heat-related illnesses are a significant occupational health hazard in Florida, causing 200 hospitalizations and 10 deaths per year on average. The financial toll is equally significant, with $5 million lost annually in healthcare expenses and productivity. The construction industry bears the brunt, with 15 out of 25 heat-related deaths in 2020. These numbers tell a story of a serious issue that needs immediate attention. Now it's your turn to make a difference. Reach out to your local representatives, urging them to back policies safeguarding workers from heat-related illnesses. Share your personal stories or experiences to raise awareness about this critical issue. Participate in our advocacy efforts, attend town hall meetings and speak out in support of protective policies. When voting, consider candidates who prioritize worker safety. Remember, your voice can make a real difference in the lives of Florida's workers.